Facing the cameras on the steps of Preston Crown Court, the former Chief Constable of the West Yorkshire and Merseyside Forces. Sir Norman Bettison had been a Chief Inspector at South Yorkshire Police when the Hillsborough tragedy unfolded in 1989. Nearly three decades on, he's learned criminal charges against him have now been dropped. I intend to make short stay, not be answering any questions. My involvement in the events around Hillsborough has often been misrepresented, even in Parliament. Since then, I've been forced to deny strenuously that I have done anything wrong in the aftermath of the disaster. And today's outcome vindicates that position. As a chief inspector with South Yorkshire Police, Norman Bettison had been part of a team who gathered evidence for the Taylor inquiry into the role of the police at Hillsborough. He later controversially became chief constable of Merseyside Police, much to the anger of victims' families, and then went on to become head of the West Yorkshire Force, where his career ended. He faced charges of misconduct in public office and lying about the culpability of fans. Six years ago, I was driven from the job that had been my vocation for 40 years. And some commentators, who didn't really know anything about me or the facts, rushed to judgment and predetermined my guilt. 96 Liverpool fans died in the Hillsborough disaster. Their families have fought a long battle for justice. They reacted with despair at today's decision from the Crown Prosecution Service to drop charges against Sir Norman Bettison following changes in the evidence of two witnesses and the death of a third. Sick to my stomach, really. And we're still in this situation where we're having to have the, these knockbacks. And I'm not shocked, I'm just very disappointed. They've let us families down. They've let the 96 down and they've also let down the families who are no longer alive to see this journey through to the end. Five other men, including match commander David Duckenfield, will face trial next year. Meanwhile, Sir Norman Bettison refused to answer questions as he left court today. Ian White, BBC Look North.